Hi Bobcats, it's Miss Lee. In today's lesson, we're going to work with percents to find the tax tip and discount amounts. Make sure that you have your notes and you're pausing the video when necessary so that you can get all of the notes taken as well as all of the examples. Okay, let's get started. Tax, what is tax? I know you've heard what tax is, you've heard about tax, you've probably realized when you've gone to buy something that you've had to pay more than what the price tag read, and this is because you're paying an additional amount that is called tax. Tax is a fee that is a percentage of the cost of goods and services. This fee is paid to the state. So you'll probably have noticed if you've traveled anywhere that there's been construction um, on roads, on highways. This is paid for by the state. The state also gives funds to public schools to help for the running of the schools. And they don't just come up with this money. They have to get this money somewhere. So they tax us. They put on this fee for things that we purchase. And this tax dollar amount is sent to the state, and that's the funds that they use for schools and road work and a lot of other different things. This, this taxable fee is a percentage of whatever it is you buy and it's added to your cost of your purchase. Okay. So to find the total cost, you would have to add the tax amount because it's added and it increases the price or the cost of whatever it is you're purchasing. Now, one of the things that is not taxable would be your groceries. When you go to the grocery store and buy food, food items are not taxable. If you go out to eat or go to McDonald's, that is taxable because there's a service performed as well. Okay, tip. What is tip? Tip, which is also called a gratuity, is a percentage of the cost of a service given to the service worker for their good service. A lot of you are familiar with going out to eat and your parents leaving a tip. If your waiter does a really good job or, or waitress, they do a really good job, they fill up your drinks when they're empty, they bring your food out nice and hot, they get your order correct, and they just overall give you a good service, then you want to leave a tip to say thank you or a gratuity. And to find the total cost, you would add the tip amount because it's additional money that you're paying. There are other things that you leave tips for. It's not just for going out to eat. You could leave a tip if you go to a hotel and you stay at a hotel for a few nights, maybe the maid service because they come and they clean your room and they change the sheets on your bed and they leave you extra towels and you might want to leave them a tip for that. Also, people who come deliver furniture, deliver and install furniture or major electronics like a washing machine and dryer. Uh, if they come, somebody comes and cleans your carpet, they do a really good job, you'd want to leave them a tip. What is a discount? Well, a discount is a deduction from the usual cost. We're going to be getting into the season where a lot of discounts, a lot of sales are going to be going on, and especially the after Christmas sale where you go and you want to buy something and it's going to be a percentage off, 25% off, 15% off, save 30%. That means that they're going to take money off of the cost. They're going to decrease the amount, the cost amount, and save you money. So to find the new discounted price, you would subtract the discounted amount. Okay, there's a difference between the amount and the percent. Okay. The tax and tip and discount, they're all percentages of the total cost of the item. They're not the dollar amount. So if you want to give, if you have to pay 10 or 12% tax, you're not going to add $12. You're going to first find out what is 12% of the total cost, and that's what you're going to add. You cannot add, if the cost is $50, you cannot add dollars and percent together. You can only add dollars with dollars. So you have to find the 12% dollar amount. And there's two different methods that we're going to use. The first method is going to be the percent proportion. You're familiar with this. This is what we've been using in this unit. And the second method that we're going to use are going to be the percent shortcuts. You're also familiar with this because we just got done doing the shortcuts. Sometimes it will be easier to work with the percent shortcuts. 
Sometimes it's going to be easier to work with the percent proportion. Sometimes it doesn't matter. It's really up to you, your choice, what you're more comfortable with. So let's do some examples. I'm going to actually work them both ways. So this video might be a little bit longer because we're going to be solving the same problem two different times. Tax and tip. Shania and her friends ordered $32 worth of Chinese food. Allowing 25% for tax and tip, how much will they pay in total? Okay, so this 25% covers the tax and tip combined. And if we want to know how much they pay in total, are we going to add or subtract that amount? We're going to add it. Okay, first thing you want to do is identify your part, your whole, and your percent. So just off to the side, go ahead and write a P for part, a W for whole, and the percent symbol for percent. And fill in what you know. We know that she ordered, or that they ordered $32 worth of food, so that's your whole. We know that the 25% was for tax and tip, so that's your percent. We know that we need to add this 25% to the $32, but I can't add percent and dollars, so I need to find out the part. This is your N. This is the 25% dollar amount. I'm going to start with the percent proportion. So we part to whole equals percent always out of 100. And then you solve. You can look for the scale factor going vertically. You can look for it going horizontally. I'm going to go, for this one, I'm going to go vertically. I need to go from the bottom, from the known to the unknown. So from bottom to top, from 100 to 25, I'm getting smaller. So I'm going to divide by 25. I'm sorry, I'm going to divide by 4. don't know what I'm thinking here. 100 divided by 4 will give me 25. So I'm going to use the same scale factor over here. 32 divided by 4 will give me 8. So my part, my tax and tip part, is $8. So now you just add the $32 whole total amount plus your 8, and it gives you a total cost of $40. So they will pay $40 in total. Okay, that's using the proportion. Now let's use percent shortcuts. The total is $32. I want to find 25%. So I'm going to find 10% of $32 equals, remember you just slide that decimal point over one place, equals $3. It's 3.2, but I want to put it as dollars and cents. So $3.20. I need to multiply this by 2 because I want another 10%, right? So that's $3.20. So that's 20%. Now I need 5%. So I'm going to take my 10% amount, 32, and I'm going to, I'm sorry, 10% amount of $3.20, and I'm going to divide it by 2 because 10 divided by 2 is 5. And that's going to be $1.60. And then I just add them all up. 0, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, carry a 1, bring down your decimal point. So there's 6, 7, 8. And you get the same amount, $8. Or maybe you're smart enough to see that 25% of $32 is the same as dividing 32 by 4 because 25% is a quarter, it's a fourth. And 32 divided by 4 is your $8. So either of these methods will work. It's really up to you, whichever you prefer, whichever is easier for you. If you don't really understand the percent shortcuts, then maybe you want to stick with the percent proportion. Next example, discount. Evangeline wants to buy an iPod with her Christmas money. The model she wants is priced at $220, but she has a coupon for 30% off any one item in the store. How much will the iPod cost before tax? So we're not even worried about the tax. We just want to know with her coupon, which is a discount, coupon's 30% off, how much is the iPod going to cost? So are we going to add or subtract? Yep, we are going to subtract. So let's write down our part, a whole, and percent. The whole is the cost of the iPod, which is $220. The percent is the discount amount, which is 30%. I cannot subtract 30% from $220. So I need to find out how many dollars does 30% equal. And that's our part. So I'm going to start with the proportion. Part to whole equals percent out of 100. 
Okay, I cannot use a vertical because I can't go from 100 to 30, so I'm going to have to go horizontal. And I'm going to actually simplify this. Remember those shortcuts? They both end in zero. We can cross them off. Now we have 3 over 10. And I can multiply 10 by 22 to get 220. Use the same skill factor. 3 times 22 is 66. So she's going to save $66. So the sell price, you just subtract 220 minus the $66. We're going to have to borrow. This becomes a 1, 10. You get a 4. Got to borrow again. This becomes an 11. $154. Okay, let's do it using percent shortcuts. 30%. Well, I can break this 30% easily into 10%. Let's find 10% of $220. We're going to slide that decimal point over and we get $22. What do we do to the 30 to the 10% to make 30? Multiply it by 3. So do the same thing here. 22 times 3 is 66. So you get the same amount as you did over here. Okay, last example. A haircut and a blow dry at a local salon costs $50. How much will it cost after adding an 8% tax and a 5% tip? Well, here's our clue word already adding, so we know we're going to add. So let's do our part, whole and percent. I know the whole is $50 because the haircut and the blow dry cost this amount. This is the cost. And I have two percents here. I have tax and tip. Since I'm adding both of them together, I'm just going to add the two percent amounts. 8 plus 5 is going to be 13%. This is a percent. I can't add $50 to 13%. I have to find out 13% is how many dollars. So that's the part. Okay. Part to whole equals percent out of 100. And I can easily see that all I have to do is divide 100 by 2 to make 50. And then I can divide 13 by 2 and I get 6.5, but this is dollars and cents, so I add on the zero to get $6.50. So I add this tax and tip amount, dollar amount, to the $50, and I get $56.50. Okay, now let's try it using the percent shortcuts. Okay, I need to find 13% of $50. So I'm going to break down this 13% to 10%. 10%, I know I just moved that decimal over one place, so it's going to be $5. And now I need 3%, so I can do this. So let's find 1%. 1%, I move the decimal over two places, so 1% is going to be 50%, I'm sorry, 50 cents, but I need 3 times 50 cents, which is going to be $1.50 because I do 1 times 3 will give me the 3%. So 50 cents times 3 will give me the $1.50. Add the two together, $5 plus $1.50 is $6.50, which is what we got over here. And that's all there is to it. Nice job, Bobcats.